Well, welcome to another Canteen Cup Tuesday, Spam March or Tailgate Thursday, whatever you prefer. On the right, you've got the McAllister River meeting the Trobe River. We've got my camper van, hence Tailgate Thursday, the common over there. And we've got the Sail Swing Bridge. This was built in 1883 and renovated again in 2002. It swings in the middle or pivots to allow our boat traffic either side. It was until 2002 the main South Gippsland Highway and there was a set of traffic lights to stop people because it was a single lane highway. And over here we've got our Spamanara cooking. We've got some Spam frying and some spaghetti boiling. So we'll take you over there and do the next step. Right, so that's all cooking away nicely. We've got the pasta in the canteen cup. Some Spam. It's Spam and bacon never had that before so it'll be a new one frying away in the frying pan the other other ingredients you need is an egg and some cheese I've got some parmesan cheese and cheddar cheese here so once the pasta is cooked you drain it add the egg add the cheese add the spam stir it together make sure you do that off the heat we don't want scrambled eggs so I'll show you when it's done so there it is in all its glory make sure you take it off the heat before you put in the egg otherwise you will get scrambled eggs so the heat of the spam and the heat of the spaghetti and the pot is enough to cook the egg into a nice silky smooth almost omelette sort of thing. I've probably put a little bit too much cheese in there if such a thing exists. If you're interested in the swing bridge I'll leave you some footage of the swing bridge actually open and some historical information about it. Until next time enjoy your time in the bush. See you later. Here's a close-up of the underside of the swing bridge. Historically it was just done by a uh, bridge keeper with a crank. Now when they open it for the public on weekends, a bloke drives onto the, the bridge as a mechanical little engine sort of thing that turns the crank and then he sits there for an hour on the bridge until he closes it again. So not much fun for that bloke.